promotions right here on a rainy and wet night right here in Sweetwater, Tennessee, known as the Volunteer State. Hey, we're glad to be here. We're going to have a good time tonight, and we've had an exciting, exciting day. It's been busy all day, and um, all that has got to do with Alan Presley Promotions. Lady Presley, well, you got a call this morning giving us just a very few minutes to get shape, look and shape. And I, hey, I'm going to tell you this. Hey, I, I, I tell you, I tell you things that goes on out here. I was peeling around, messing around, you know, on Facebook and on the internet and all that stuff. And I didn't, I didn't get up and get ready all that fast, but. You liked around today. Yeah, and I messed around, laid around, goofed off. No. And, Huh? You didn't lay around, you lied. Laid around? Lied. What do you mean? You, uh, you didn't get up first thing this morning and do your shaving, eat your breakfast, make your bed. Yeah, but the <laughs> thing is, I did that. <laughs> then I was, I, I, was, I, I was in the bathroom shaving, and, then, and I was going to take a shower, and then Lady Presley come, in our, come and told me, said, you better hurry up. And I said, why? We're having company. And I said, who is it? And um, I said, Joe, Joe Belcher. He said, Joe Belcher. I don't worry, he's out of way over there on the other side of North Carolina. On the other side of North Carolina is the ocean. He's way over there. Not in the ocean, but he's way over there. And he he, they go, he goes with the he can search for the primitive quartet goes and Chandler ain't it? And Linda said, "You better hurry." I said, "I don't have time to. I was to be here. They just three miles away." He said, and we uh and so I hurried and shaved. I got I just I just got my old clothes back on and uh oh took the shower later. What thunder? And to take the shower later, and so uh, so that's what I did. And but we had the best too, time. And you waited way too long to take your shower, Gary Holly. Uh, and Gary Holly, and I listen to this, folks. Gary Holly was smelling me over all, the phone. Over the phone, all the way up to where he lived at, <laughs> and and but. If Lady if Gary Hawley smelled me uh smelled me all the way up there, then where's that put Lady Presley? She gotta have an oxygen mast. <laughs> and 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 I'm already getting stuff off the hotline already. But anyway, guess who it was? It wasn't only Joe Belcher. The Fields of Grace. That's who you heard singing. Coming on the first two songs, I heard the two songs 
the fields of grace. First one had partial of Chronicles, but the other two songs and, was the field of grace. And that last one we played, I'm um, just a sparrow. Uh, what did they say that girl's name was? I don't remember. Anyway, she wrote that song. Yeah, and she said, you know, they these guys, these young kids, they're kids, really, but they they sang just about as much as a primitive quartet sings. I'm serious, folks. And they all go to the same church. And 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 boy, I tell you what, that was a big surprise to me. But ladies and gentlemen, I had another surprise coming. Guess who was here a while ago? It was Stanley Jones, all the way from down in Georgia. And, it, you know, he left. I don't blame him. He didn't stay this time for the program because he had pouring down rain. And then they was tired. His wife was tired. And they wanted to get to the motel room and get him some rest. But they come in here, and we got, uh, they took me and Linda out and wanted to take us out to uh, supper tonight. I call it supper. I'm old-timey. And uh, uh, Elizabeth Lawson she calls it supper way over there where she's at, too. That makes me feel better. I'm not just an old country boy. I call supper supper. I call dinner dinner at 12 o'clock, man. And, and uh, we, 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 we had a good time out at the, our fellowship, man. but he bought me some peanuts. Man, I like him kind of peanuts he brings me. And, I, and it was great. It's been a great day today. We've been busy. We've had a few phone calls and talked with a lot of great people. And you listen to Alan Presley Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network from Sweetwater, Tennessee. And as we tell you every night, this is a faith broadcast sponsored by you, the listener. If you'd like to donate the program, help with that program, you can do that by sending the donations to Alan Presley, 611 Ohio Highway 68. Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. That's Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. And by the way, some of you people that are helping us keep stay on the program. We like to say thank you and God bless you. We got a, we got a, uh, some other people that helps me with this program, and they, they like a, a little... <laughs> Uh, a team, their team. We call them Alan Presley Promotional Team. We're working up something. Hey, Alan. Uh, we, wait a minute. I want to tell you about tell them about this first. We're working up something to try to pay you folks back. I mean, hey, you help us, we want to help you. And it's going to be great. But to be, to be, to be eligible for something we're going to give you, and it ain't going to be no CD either. It's going to be something greater. It's going to be great. It's going to be good. And But the key is, you got to listen to all the programs to even be uh, eligible for it. You have to listen. That's what we're here for. And you got to listen to all the program. And then you, there'll be some things happen at the end of the week that you'll be eligible for. And, and you'll have to call in, and you'll have to get the answer right every time. Then, maybe at the end of a month, we take all the people's call in and they eligible for the, it's like a drawing or something. It'll be, it'll be set up and we then we'll call our winner. If we get this to go over good, we'll be doing it some more. And we're excited about it because we want to try to do something to reward you folks out there for standing by us and helping us out on this program. We say God bless you. Lady Presley, what do you have to say? Uh, uh, Lieutenant said, you don't need no nuts. You're nutty enough. What'd she say? <laughs> What'd she say? You're nutty enough. <laughs> I'm nutty enough. Hmm. <laughs> What's Lieutenant Elaney? Won't you just get a Air Force jet and have him fly you over here? I got some peanuts. That he, that Stanley Jones brought me out of Georgia, and I guarantee you, you won't only eat them. When you eat these, you won't only eat them. Lieutenant Laney, you will inhale them. I have fun out of these people. Well, Man, you know what? What? She says it's been raining all day and storming and snow tomorrow. 
No tomorrow. In Utah. In Utah? Mmm. I hope she keeps that snow out there. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get on board, Linda. And we're going to play some Southern Gospel music. And Lady Presley, I want you to introduce this girl. She sings like a nightingale. She sings like a nightingale. And, I, and she talks like a nightingale. And, and she is a good nightingale. And when Linda loves this young lady from the bottom of her heart. Who is it, Linda? Elizabeth. Elizabeth who? And it's not Elizabeth Scott. No, it's not Elizabeth Scott. It's Elizabeth Lawson. Elizabeth Lawson. Is she I, on our tonight? Wonder, yeah, I wonder if Elizabeth Scott is crying right now. I don't know. But anyway, Murray Scott has that baby. And it's now I, I said one it looked, day, it had a birthday today. Yeah, I said it looked like a giant. It it's a, pretty, too. It had a birthday today. It was one day old. Yeah. And here we go. And we're going to play this pretty-looking nightingale and this young lady. And you know what? This lady can play a piano, too, Elizabeth Lawson. She's a great piano player. And I'm looking forward to the day that we're going to have her live on this program and there may be other great things and exciting things that is coming. You say amen, Elizabeth? Yep, she said amen. I hear her outside. Here we go, Elizabeth Lawson. So I get the buttons right. <laughs>
Facebook, hit the like button, hit the, hit the buttons up and down, and let's win this world to Jesus and share this great news all over the world and all over the country. Let's see how many shares we can get tonight and see how many we can reach for the cause of Christ. We have the Living Faith Quartet coming up right here on Alan Presley's Promotions. Take a listen. <laughs> promotions here tonight and the next guy coming up to sing we're going to get two of his songs in here before Elaine calls and we want to talk just a little bit about Jimmy Puffman. Jimmy Puffman is a great man. Every time I talk to him on the phone he just frills my heart. Man he blesses this old man here. I call myself old man. I am getting old. He blesses me and he frills her heart. And man he builds me up. He encourages me. He tells me to press on toward the mark of the high calling because my reward is going to be heaven. He keeps me encouraged. He helps me. He testifies to me. He witnesses to me. And even though he's in trouble with a kidney. And folks, I'm asking for help out there. This program is asking for help. You say, when are you going to quit mentioning that? When we get the help. Jesus told me in his word, ask and you shall receive. He said, ask and believe and you shall receive. And, and and the Bible tells us to pray. He said, if any two or three of you agree on one thing, it shall be done. Hey, me and Linda agrees. 
Do we have another out there that agree? I think Pastor Holly agrees. I think we got enough out there to agree. And folks, let's pray tonight. Let's pray that God will move on somebody's heart and life that qualifies to give him a kidney transplant. I'm serious. Lady Presley, what type of blood has he got to have? All positive or all negative. And you got to be in good health. You got to be in good health. And and, and and you and you can't be over seventy years old, but you gotta be in good health. And and you're not out one penny. The insurance will cover it all. You say, What about me messing work? Hey, they cover your work too. They cover your work and take care of you. And I'm asking, this guy is a great Christian man. He loves the Lord and he loves Jesus. And I'm begging, I'm pleading, what does it take that old Alan Preston's got to do to get him some help? What does it take? This program is calling for your help. We are sincere in what we do. I believe in the King of Kings. I believe in the Lord of Lords. And I believe we got somebody out there that God is speaking to. I want you to hear this guy sing. He's not only a great singer, but when he sings, he sings in the spirit and in the power of God. He's even been to churches and sang that couldn't afford to give him a dime, but he goes and he witnesses to them. Folks, he is a man that loves God and he's asking for help. Where else can he get it? He's got to get it from God's true church. I said true church. He's not going to get it from the fakes, but he'll get it from God's help. Here we go, folks, and I'm back. You listen to this man as he sings. It's Jimmy Putman. And, folks, you say, how long are you going to do that? To God moves or we get a helper. Here we go, folks, on this program right now. Take a listen. <laughs>
seas of trust in God in mountains you cannot move to risk your life on things you cannot prove but to give these things you cannot the way to find the joy that God has for you. Let's help this man out, folks. Somebody out there can do it. I know they are. Somewhere in this world, somebody can help Jimmy Puff us out. Share that program on Facebook. Somebody can hear the program tonight and they can be an answer to Jimmy Putman's prayer. I'm asking everybody to beg and to you and plead with you. Please share the program. Hey. Huh? Uh, Pastor Holly said he had a phone conversation with Jimmy and he just wants Hold to on, Mick Linda. Hold on. Linda. Hold on, on Mick Lady Presley. Now Presley. go ahead and tell him. Wait a minute. Now uh, go uh, ahead. Uh, Pastor Holly said he had a phone conversation with Jimmy, and he just wants to honor God. No one else out there. Surely there's somebody out there that can help this man by donating from wireless a kid. Color. And folks, here we go. We're going to listen to another song. We have a call-in color. guest that's coming on air here in just a little bit. But here we go with another song from Jimmy Putman. And you heard what Pastor Gary Hawley said. Brother, we talked to this man. We talked with him. He'll bring tears to your eyes. He don't do nothing but love God with all of his heart, soul, and mind and strength. We're asking for help. We plead for help. We asking every individual out there on Facebook to listen to this program, to share this program. That somebody might hear the call and the plea to help this great man of God. Here we go with Jimmy Putman and listen to this song that he's going to sing. And no rain tomorrow. Yeah. On that resurrection morning, when the trump of God shall sound, it's going and to the sound saints shall rise up out of the grave, and those that remain serious. shall be caught up and changed. And we shall forever be with the Lord.
somebody's touched out there tonight and I think you know somebody's really deeply considering if it does get a hold of either Jimmy Putman or call Alan Presley or send me a message and we'll get back to you folks and help let's help us out let's do all we can for brother Jimmy Putman and we go we're going to put our guest on the line we got a young lady that's coming on here we learned her we love her we appreciate her she helps our program out and she helps do a lot of things for Alan Presley Promotions. And and she's in the United States Air Force, 20-something years in there. And and she is a great person, and we love her from the bottom of her heart. We never met each other. We've talked to each other a lot of times. And we appreciate her, and we hope and eventually, and very, and very soon, that we get together before long. Is Lieutenant Elaney from the United States Air Force, and we're going to put her on the air right now, okay? Just hold on here, and we're going to get her right in here. In here. Hello, is this uh, Lieutenant Elaney? It is. Hey, we're glad to have you on here. You on the radio right now, three worldwide radio stations, and you may be heard anywhere in the world right now, even on Facebook. And we're glad... <laughs> hey, we're glad to have you, Lieutenant. Thank you. Always, always a pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure to be here. Always a pleasure to be here. Hey, are you keeping that girl, Sylvia, straight? You know what? I've given up. you given up? I've given up. She, yeah, she's <laughs> it's hey. a full-time job. It's a full-time job, and I have a full-time job. Well, how do you give her? How do you give somebody like that orders in the United States Air Force when she when her when she don't talk and she don't say nothing and she's quiet and and uh, she, she, she probably just hears and don't say nothing. You know, I savor the moment when she's quiet. Yeah. Hey. Maybe she maybe she's gonna surprise us one day, right? You never know about her. You just don't know. Hey Lieutenant Laney, tell the world out there what the Lord Jesus Christ is doing for you. Um, signs of the time are, 
are everywhere and they're at hand. And I was, um, I went in today. It was not our mandatory Saturday, but I had to go in for um, meetings. And um, I got to talking to my colonel, and he found out he is not a believer. And, um, you know, his wife's in the hospital with double pneumonia and, and the flu. And so she's been bad off sick. And um, we got to talking about things that are happening and are about to happen and um, things that are coming. And I said, you know, Colonel, I said, Revelation is being fulfilled right before our eyes. And even you need to get saved. And he just kind of looked at me like, I just cannot believe you said that to me, but time's short. And, um, you know, what you guys do every every night is, 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 is a ministry and, and reaching lost souls for Christ, and that's what it's all about. And um, we need to be diligent in um, witnessing to the lost. There's so many out there that needs Jesus, and I know I've got a, a slew full of my family that, that need the Lord, and um, it's time short, and um, it, it, it's an everyday process to witness and um, you know, be that light, and, and, and we have to be, because if we don't, who's going to? Hey, Lieutenant Delaney, a uh, thought come to my mind. I know you can't answer it fully. In a lot of ways, you might not, but you can okay. might can share a little bit of light. You in the military, you in the Air Force, you've been there a long time. And can you tell these folks, I mean, I know you probably not can tell them to an extent because you may not be allowed to, but you can say it may be a little something. What is a, can you share a little bit about enlightened people, what it looks like to you as a military, the danger that we may be in and the things we better be looking out and preparing for? Is there any way you can say anything about that? Well, um, there's so much going on right now to answer because you know we are we are under um, um, lock and key on there are a lot of things but um recession's coming and it, 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 it's coming it's um the signs are there um but we, we talked about that in our meeting today and um yeah, things, things are coming, and I, and I tell you, this, the next attack on the United States of America is going to be worse than 9-11. And if you guys go back to that day of 9-11 and um, remember where you were and what you were doing and how it brought the nation to its knees together, Together, church, churches were were lined up, wall to wall people. Um, America was on their knees, and um, we, we better head there because it's coming. Um, uh, Lieutenant, we're proud of you. Alan Presley Promotions is proud of you, and all the team is proud of you. You do a great job of helping us. And, and that we can get the gospel out and share the truth about Jesus Christ. And Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. We're going to give you a choice. What couple songs you'd like for us to play on here tonight?
So if you have a testimony and if you have a story, share it. You, 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 don't, you don't know. That story, that testimony, just may lead somebody to Christ. And if you keep it to yourself, there's a soul that may never know Jesus. Amen. Um, hey, Lieutenant so, Laney, I want to say something right now. I don't want to interrupt you, but it's a, yes, almost a half-two case. We're yes. getting some fundering around here pretty loud a little bit. We may get knocked off the air, and we may have to get off if it gets too rough or too bad, and we just want to tell the people that we are getting fundering. I don't know how close it is or how bad it is, but it's pretty loud. And if it gets too bad, we may have to get off the air. And another thing before we, before that happens, we want to remind everybody that we spring forward tonight. Set your clocks ahead one hour or you'll be late for church tomorrow. And they don't want to be late for Pastor Holly's church and, and uh, Ernie Dawson Airline going to be there. They are great. Brother Ernie is in bad shape too. His he got, he's on dialysis, too. And when you pray, we want you to pray about that. And Jimmy Putman, Ernie Dawson, and a lot of people out there has got needs. But more than anything, people need to get saved and right with God. We want you to make sure we got that in there before we had to leave the hour. We don't want to leave the hour, but we wait till we think that it's getting serious enough, too. And if it does, we will, because we got a lot of equipment tied up in here, and we don't want nothing to happen to it. Yeah, it's been um, it's been raining and storming here all day, and tomorrow we're supposed to have snow. I was telling Miss Linda, I said, "This is what you call fool's weather because you just don't know. <laughs> it, it, it's tricky." Yes, it is. So, um, but to get back to answer your answering your question, um, <laughs> excuse me, I think um, <laughs> I think just in time, I would like to hear. Um, and the man in the middle, uh, that Greg Walton's I, I just absolutely love that song too. And you know, just in time, and the man in the middle go hand in hand. Amen. If it wasn't for, and I, and I say this, I say this often, but was it for that man in the middle? Amen. He's the one that saved me just in time. Uh, no. Well, we know we got two songs that you like. Are they a third? What's, um, what, what's your next best in your life? You know, Alan, I am learning titles, songs. I'm learning uh, artists. Um, but it's by Kevin. No, no, it's not Kevin Spencer. It's um, the hem of his garment. Is, is that right? Uh, yeah, that's, that's his mom and dad. His Yeah. Okay. Are you going to sing it with them? Am I going to sing it with them? Yeah, I kind of get around the grapevine and hear things that you may be considering going to sing them. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I, hey, oh, no. Not hey. Not you want the neighborhood dogs to have. Hey, are you going to start singing with Greg Loggins and Revival? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, oh, Al is a little bit sneaky, you know, and, uh, and, 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 you know, you might be going to start singing with Greg Loggins and Revival, who knows? Um, no, I, I told him, I said, I'll work your table, but I, I won't sing. <laughs> Why, Elaine, I almost say you'd be a good singer. I think Pastor Hawley's considering it. Okay, oh, he's been here a long time, but he did a good job. He's a okay. Pastor Hawley's a jack of all trades, and I'm a master of none. There, there, there goes the chat line, Alan. Huh? Alan. Quit meddling. Quit meddling. <laughs> <laughs> I love Pastor Holly. Me and him, me and him's two, two peas in the pot was all full of, of tricks and 
and everything. We just love each other to death, man. Hey, uh, is there anything else you want to tell them? We want you to have prayer, because, uh, lady, we believe you can get a hold of God tonight, and we want you to pray, really pray hard for Jimmy Putman and uh, Ernie Dawson, and there's so many out there, I can't name them all, but God knows every one of them. And Thank say, God he knows. but yeah. we want you to say whatever you want to say, then have that prayer. Well, I really don't have, you know, a whole lot to say um, tonight, but um, I just, I count it a blessing and an honor to be a part of um, the Alan Presley ministry. I don't do much, um, I do what I can, and I um, hope my bed is good enough. And um, I, 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 I think I've shared with Pastor Holly that um, he is one of my biggest influencers um, that I have come across. And I, I just, his heart and his, and his compassion and, and his love for people just, it just hits me. It just hits me. My, it, uh, my heart is full. Amen. And every time I leave y'all's program, my heart is full. Amen. And, um, you know, I've met a lot of, I've met a lot of, um, good people on, on, on your show and on your program. I mean, I'm sorry. And, um, uh, yeah, so, so, we're, we're one big happy family. Amen. And, um, so, and, and I, and I count it a real honor and a real blessing to be, to be a part and, and, to know good people like y'all, because I tell you, when I was out there on the road, out and I was running around with some pretty, pretty rough people. Amen. And um, so the positive and the encouraging um, songs, um, the things you say, y'all just feel like too. And that's just, you know, it, it, it's, it's a refresher from the rough day. And, um, the things that we hear and the things that we see at work and then we tune into the program and it's just it's just like being baptized you know that weight mm -hmm. that weight of the world just is lifted off of you and, and that's what alan Presley promotions does hey lieutenant yes sir uh i know there may be some people out there <laughs> I don't, I don't know if your sister's on tonight. I hope she is. I can't see the comments and other Linda's over there. But uh, is anybody you want to tell, anybody out there you think might be listening, do you want to tell them hello? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay. Um, I love my family has gotten off of Facebook. Um, they have just totally gotten off social media because of the negativity and um, I know my brother my one brother's um, little girl saw saw something inappropriate on um, on Facebook a while back and he said that's it I'm done so he got off and um, so um, no not really <laughs> that may sound mean and cruel but no not really um, you know, my sister comes on on occasion, and she did send me a text. I know she's going to try to get on so she can get the kids settled. Her husband's gone out of town again, so um, so she's soloing it with the kids. And, um, no, um, no I, I, I take that back. My colonel, my colonel goes, um, he does not have Facebook, but he has Messenger, but he accesses his wife's Facebook, I believe, and with her being in the hospital, he'll get on and and um, um, access some things and listen to them and play them for her. And, um, so, you know, that's another thing about the encouragement on your program. You, you got a lot of shut-ins. You got a lot of people in the hospital who can't, you know, physically be at a church and this is their church. Amen. This is their church. So, um, 
You're reaching people whether you know it or not, Alan. Um, so don't don't get discouraged. Don't let um, these some of these mean-hearted people that come in um, discourage you. Um, we have your back, and um, I know Pastor Holly has. You know he's watching, and um, so. But you keep on doing what you're doing because you're you're reaching people and you're touching people whether you know it or not. We appreciate you, Lieutenant. Those Thank nice you. words, that's words like that, what keeps us a pressing Thank toward. You. And we're gonna may all make it to heaven one day and we'll all okay. be together forever and forever and forevermore. And Lieutenant you are an inspiration to us out here. And oh, we, thank you. I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it plainly. Alan Presley Promotions loves you with all their heart. And I return that love right back to y'all. I know that. Yeah. And we love Sylvia. Sylvia has been a blessing to all of us, too. We love all of them. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if your colonel ever listens to a program or not that gets on there and listens. But I don't know if he'll do what I'm fixing to ask you to do. Tell him give me a call and give him my phone number. I'll do that. I appreciate you doing that. I can do that. Hey, and Lieutenant, just because a guy's a colonel or a general or even the president <laughs> of the United States, Alan Presley wants to tell him about the Lord too. And talk to him about the Lord. And you just tell him, give me a call. Anytime he wants to, day or night, he can call me. Okay, I will I will re relay that message to him on Monday. And, um, you know, like I was saying earlier, there's so many, even even on, on the base and, and those that we work with that don't know, don't know the Lord and, there's some that are really out to discourage and, um, um, you know, try to make us doubt that our decision is the right decision and um, how can you serve a God that you can't see and, um, you know, just things like that. And you got to be quick on your feet. I mean, you got to know how to, um, you, you got to know how to fight back because they're, they're an enemy coming at us and so we need to fight back and um it, it, yeah there's a lot of discouragement there's a lot of um uh, negativity at work and we just gotta um smile and go on i know i made the right decision and i'm sure Sylvia knows that she made the right decision um we just cannot let people you know, poison your mind. We have to hang on to Jesus. That's all I can say. We have to hang on to Jesus because he's coming and we have to be ready to meet him in in, in, in the air. Oh, yeah. And if, if, if it wasn't for him, where would you all be? Where would you all be? You would be still living the life you lived. And, um, or worse, I know I would have. If I did not know um, what I know now, if I did not get saved when I got saved just in time, I know that I know that I would not be talking to you all today mm -hmm. because I was headed down that road. And um, that second verse of that song, Just in Time, is... Um, it's one that just, it, it gets me every time. I was going down that road, you know, going down for the last time. And um, again, I'll say this. He let me hit rock bottom to see that he was the rock at that bottom. Amen. Well, Lieutenant, we want you to have prior to. Would you do that? I will. Thank you.
Anytime you get ready. Yes. Heavenly Father, humbly, I know how I come before you this evening. Thanking you, Lord, for another day that you've given us and that you brought us through. And Lord, I turn this prayer right now to the needs of your people. Father, there's sickness. There's people that are in, uh, waiting transplants. There's people that are lost. There's people that are fighting sickness. There's people that are ready to give up. And so, Lord, I ask that you would intervene in every situation and um, people who are recovering from surgeries and um, are looking for an answer, Lord. That answer is you. And Father, I just ask that you would make a way for um, the ones that are needing um, these transplants, that you would work in the situation, Lord, that you would send just the right person that um, would be able to help in this situation. Lord, you know who that is. And so, Lord, we just ask tonight that before the program is over, that they would step up and step forward and um, be a match for these, for these two. And, Lord, I just thank you for Alan and Ms. Linda and Pastor Holly as they are faithful night after night. Bringing you the gospel, or bringing us the gospel, and sharing the good news of Jesus Christ, Lord, it's, it's fun to to laugh and to, and to joke and just to have a good time. But Lord, there's also the seriousness of the loss that we need to reach. And so I ask the Lord that something is played, something is said, something is done. Um, that if there's a lost soul out there tonight, that they return to you, Lord, you're coming, and you're coming soon. And so I just pray, Lord, that every heart would get right with you, even before this program, Lord, is over, that they would turn their life over to you. Father, I ask that you would be with um, Pastor Holly's service tomorrow as um, um, they, they have their concert, Lord. That something is said, something is done, something is played. Um, they may reach them all forward to. Lord, you know what's coming. You know what is being fulfilled right before our eyes. And so, Lord, I lift up this dying nation to you that it's not going to take another 9-11 to bring us to our knees and surrender to you. That we would do it on our own free will. And, Lord, sometimes we have to be humbled. And so I ask, Lord, that um, we would humble ourselves before you have to. And when you step in and humble us, Lord, it's not a pleasant thing. <clears throat> so we, we lift up this program, the rest of this program to you, Lord. And at the end of it, we would ask that you would take us from Facebook, lay us down to sleep, give us a good night's rest that you'd wake us refresh, ready to serve you, ready to honor you, ready to worship you. Father God, I ask this all in your precious and holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lieutenant. You've been a blessing on here tonight. And Thank you. You won't be long. You'll be Thank back you. on here again. I know you will. Thank you, and God bless you. We're going to let you go, and we're going to hear them songs you wanted to hear tonight, okay? Love you, Lieutenant. Love you, too. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.
Man, what a great time we have with Lieutenant Elaine Lakeman from the United States Air Force. And man, she was a blessing tonight. And we want you to send up buttons and everything else, whatever you had to. Get on there to Facebook on the comment side and comment. Let her know she did a great job. And she did. We love you, Lieutenant Elaine from the United States Air Force. And lady, she wanted to hear some songs. Which songs are we going to play first? Uh, just in time. Just in time. She loves this song. She said she got saved just in time. I did too. Here we go. Take a listen. swiftly fading it was drifting with the tide then a hand from out of nowhere it gently slipped in my line and I thank God he found me just in Revival, the man in the middle. Thank God for that man in the middle because he went to the grave and he rose from the grave and he lives forevermore. And he's wanting you to live for him where he can take you to heaven. And listen to Greg Loggins. The man on the left, they're on the dying sinner.
just came down We would all be lost He looked into the future He looked beyond the crowd He looked into the future You know what he saw? And he saw The man on the right, they're hung a dying sinner too. But the man in the middle, they're hung the key to the future. Dear Jesus, He pays a price. He made it all right. Thank you, Lord. He made it all Amen. Right to live again. Thank you, Jesus. He paid the price. He made it all right to live again. And you do not want to mess. Tomorrow morning at Oakland Baptist Church at 11 o'clock at 3501 Old Lost Ferry Road, right there where Pastor Gary Hawley is the pastor. Ernie Dawson and the airline will be there. And by the way, folks, if you live so far away, you can't make it. All you people out there in Utah and the Air Force, hey, you can tune it in on Facebook tomorrow. All you got to do is go right in on your search bar. Oakland Baptist Church, and it brings up Oakland Baptist Church. You see a picture, click on it, it takes you to their page, and you can watch it live streaming. And 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 you'll be able to hear and watch Ernie Dawson and our line right there tomorrow. And if you miss it and can't be there, and you listen, you can watch it later. That's the one good part about it. And I meant to tell Lieutenant Elaney, we, it'll be out on YouTube in a couple hours, and she's going to rewatch it even off Facebook video. And, folks, that is a great blessing. And she can hear herself talking back to herself. Man, that's great, isn't it? Anyway, we're glad to be here tonight. And also, March the 30th, 24th, at First Baptist Church. And what's the name of that city lady? Uh, Delano. Delano, Tennessee. That's down 411 over here south. Go right up just a few miles right below Etowah, Tennessee. Right there it is. You find First Baptist Church and Ann Downing, formerly of the Ann Downing uh, group of singers. Paul Downing was her husband. He passed away. And she has been with the Spear family too. All of us have heard of the Spear family. Man, I tell you what, if you hadn't heard of the Spear family, you don't know too much about suffering gospel music either. And anyway, and down in be there. But at the first, over in Bethlehem, Baptist Church, just a few miles from us on Sunday night, and Downing will be at Bethlehem. they be with Paul Belcher and all the crew over there. You do not want to miss Sand Downing, I promise you. January the week, uh, January 31st, Sunday morning, Brenda Denny. Formerly of second generation, she will be at In His Presence Church right there in Greenback, Tennessee, and you do not want to miss that. And they're going to be at a church up, she'll be in a church up in Talbert, Tennessee on Friday night. I think it's the 29th of March. On Friday night, she is scheduled to be live on Alan Presley Promotions right here in person right here in person and you do not want to miss brenda brenda has got a lot of talent that god has given her she's able to teach uh, bible schools she's able to teach camps she's able to te uh, teach in seminars and women's meetings i don't know nothing that she can't do really 
And folks, we kind of great honor to have them. You know, Brenda and her group, Second Generation, they have been on the main stage for like two or three years in a row, on the main stage at the National Quartet Convention. There's no place, nowhere, and that in Southern Gospel Music. Brenda and the Second Generation has been there. We're looking forward to a great honor to having her to come in, and she'll be spending the night in her home too. We got the Old Friends Quartet coming up right now on Alan Presley Promotions. Let's take a listen to them and let's get with it, folks. Here we go.
Thank you. Oh, what a happy day. Gather with the saints, we'll join the heavenly parade. Celebration banners, friends and loved ones will wave. Come along and join me, we're going home to stay. from Ella, Michigan. Holy Rock of 
strangers and safe within the wings in a shelter I will be the place may blow I may burst out of the angry storm all around me rages upon this rock of the rock of ages I shall first stand this rock is Christ my Savior my soul he will defend trusting daily at the Cloverleaf Baptist Church. Kelvin Spencer will be right there tomorrow night. You do not want to miss that. All you people that are in Cleveland, Tennessee, Kelvin Spencer at the Cloverleaf Baptist Church. We got coming up to sing now is the McCamies and Lieutenant Laney. This is what you want to hear. Here we go. When you're up on the mountain And you've got peace of mind Like you've never known But then things change And you're down in the valley Don't lose faith Twins. 
work and I love to tell other people about him so that we all can go to this place to see the one that Peg's talking about. He's God on the mountain. I love him tonight. I love him when I'm in the valley and I love him when I'm on the mountain. I want to sing this song, I'll Dare to Be Different. And you know, as Peg has said, we were preacher's kids and we always had to be different because we were preacher's kids. We were watched and and uh, people just expected more out of us. But I, when I was saved, I was different. Something was different about me. I wanted to be different. And I'm glad that I'm saved. And I'm glad I'm different. And I'm going to stand for Jesus no matter what. I love His name. I'll dare to be different. And folks, it is difference. And we have been on the WOTG radio network for a few hours now. And we appreciate all you people that have listened. And this is a faith broadcast sponsored by you, the listener. And if you like to be a part of this program, help us keeping it on the air. You can send donations to Alan Presley, 611 Ohio 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's that address again, Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Don't forget, we're going to have a, something going on that's new. With Alan Presley Promotions is going to try our best to reward you folks back with something for helping our program. And it's not going to be a CD either. It's going to be something that every one of you will want. And probably it's going to be great. And forward, and as soon as we get it all set up and worked out, it's probably going to be in just a few days away because it's getting close to it now. And, 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 it, and we want you to take part in it. But you got to listen every night. The key thing is you got to get some key words that I'm going to say. And, and you will have a chance to tell me them. And, and you'll be, be eligible to work to get this. So we're going to have a good time with it. And we're great. Uh, it's great being here tonight. And we've had a good time, and we do not want to forget uh, Ernie Dawson, our line, will be at Oakland Baptist Church, 3501 Old Niles Ferry Road in Murrayville, Tennessee, tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. You don't want to miss that. You can watch it live streaming over Facebook, too. And good old Stanley Jones is done already in Murrayville, Tennessee, and he will be there. That feller is about as sneaky as Alan Presley and Gary Hawley. We're going to get on with the program here tonight, and we got the Master's Peace Quartet. I don't think we played them. I don't know. Lee, uh, listening for the trumpet. We better be listening. It's getting about ready to blow, I think. Listen to that here. <laughs> Before. 
dog, we trying to get somebody to help Brother Jimmy cut it out. And the more showers you get out there, the more people we are there. We get cows to help him out. That any moment they could hear that special song. Should it be another time? If not today, tomorrow. Just what heaven means. 
What does heaven mean to you? It means that I want to go there. I don't want to go to hell, man. I'm scared of it. Hell of hell. You got a prison in the night and I want to be your life. I'd run away from that little blue blue to the hell. some appearance with Bill Gay for NL. And here they are to sing right now.
is calling calling you. Some of us have answered that call and we're still trying to obey his word and press toward of the mark of the high calling of Jesus. See, the writer said in the book, press toward that mark. Press. He said, he that endureth unto the end the same shall be saved. We got to face some endurance, folks. We may have to go through a lot of stuff, but we keep our trust in Jesus Christ. Then we hear him say, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Are you a faithful servant to him? Are you working for him? Are you knocking on doors? Are you witnessing for the people about Jesus Christ? Folks, we all need to be soul winners. And I can tell you some stories on top of stories, true stories that old Allen has been through and experienced. We're going to get out of here tonight. We've had a great night, but don't forget, share this program. we got important stuff that needs to be shared on this program. Brother Jimmy Putman looking for a kidney. And folks, that's why we need to share it. If we've got God in our heart, we have the love of God in our heart. We will strive and share programs like this, trying to help our brothers and sisters. That's our goal is to try to help each other. And that's what we do on this program. We try to help each other. Don't forget our new thing that's going to start up. We're going to try to reward you the people out there back with uh, something. We won't reward you, and it's not going to be no CD. It's going to be something real nice. You just got to stay tuned and listen, and we'll have it what probably worked up in the next few days. And it's been great being here tonight. And may we all take a liking unto that great God that sent his son to die on Calvary for our sins, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. God go with you until we meet again. We hope that's tomorrow night. You can tell about old Alan Prince. We have singers coming here like today, the Fields of Grace. We'll start up a video on Facebook and we'll share it with you. We're going to get out of here. We love every one of you. See you tomorrow night, good Lord willing. Good night. If the creek don't rise, who knows? No. The creek may yeah. rise. Might yeah, it's up. already rose in our yard. It's already rose in our yard, and Linda's ready to get a boat. Hey, Pastor Holly, come down and pick me up and take me to church tomorrow. Our yard's full of water. You can swim in and get me. Good night. We love Pastor Holly. Bye-bye.
This thing don't want to get off tonight. You have to push it to the side. What, Linda? You have to push it where it'll show finish. 